Uh, I mean, practically there's no net art anymore. <clears throat> uh, uh, I've been in Stockholm at the beginning of this year, and the title of the concert, or the title of the conference was "What Happened to Net Art?" <laughs> that was the title. So uh, basically, it was a movement. It was a kind of a strong international movement, uh, which involved, of course, a lot of people coming from different backgrounds, which that was good. Uh, but then, uh, but then, of course, that was a 1.0 uh, period of, of the Internet, where, uh, where everything had to be done manually, practically, so by hands. We were writing the code, you know, can you imagine we were actually typing, writing the code, like, 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 it was physical work, like sculpture, it was like sculpture, I, I imagine like a sculpture in, 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 the, in the studio and then, you know, like squeezing and doing, the, you know, the clay and I don't know, whatever kind of material, so that's what we were doing. And then we were writing the code and then we saved the file and we open it in the browser to see how it functions. How it functions. It was a physical work. And then nowadays it's not because everything goes automatically, right? Uh, uh, first kind of Facebooks and Twitters and I don't know, social other other social networks that exist today and that are very popular were actually created at that time. They were not called Facebook and not called Twitter, of course, but they had this idea of community because inside net art you had to uh, be active if you wanted something to happen. So that was like a difference uh, between uh, net art and maybe other kinds of uh, uh, participatory arts. So art uh, models or, or, or methods. So you had to really be active all the time, you had to click, you had to find your own way through websites and through links using the hyper structure. Galleries started to buy uh, net art projects for their collections. They didn't actually know what they are buying and didn't know how to handle that. There are wonderful stories uh, about uh, how they actually they were buying something because it was like you know important, but they didn't know how, what to do with that. So they wanted to put it on the wall or you know. Yeah. Uh, but then, of course, Net 2.0, Web 2.0, the second generation, actually uh, commercialized the Internet completely. So now what we have is another situation. I'm not complaining about it, but it's another situation that we have to find uh, new tools uh, how to deal with that. There's a lot of very good projects uh, using Web 2.0 as a platform, uh, so that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's a new, completely new situation. It has nothing to do with net art, of 